at how to make an arcade shooter in Blender 2.63. So, first thing we do is open Blender, of course. And let's get rid of this camera. We don't need that. Just press right click and X, then press left click. All right, um, let's take the cube. We're gonna make this like a uh, like a looking device or whatever you want to call it. Scale it down, up a little bit. And that's good. Now we want to add a camera to it. So what we do is we select it by pressing uh, right click, shift S, and cursor to select it. <coughs> Sorry. Then we press, we go to add, then we go to camera, and we want to rotate it, R to the um, X axis, yeah. Oh, and make sure when you have the camera there, you um, have to make that little dot out, uh, make it out of the block, because then you, if you don't, then you're just going to see inside the block, and that's not going to work. So, what we do is, we ha when we have the camera selected, we hold Shift, and then click on the cube, Control P, and set that as parent. Now we want to rotate it to this part, because uh, I'll explain later. Also, when you have this, we got to make our aimer which is going to be, okay, this is all based on the Ocean Hunter, because I love that game, and it's so rare, so why not make my own? Yeah, so um, we got to make the aimer now, so now we go to add, mesh, torus, we put in, right in front of the camera, rotate to the y-axis, and go to camera view, we scale it down so so we know what size our aimer is going to be. Okay, I'm going to name this aimer, and I'm going to add a material to it like the ocean hunter. Oh wait, let's make it a little dark. There we go. Now we have to program this to make it move. But today I'm going to show you how to uh, use WSAD, like on the keyboard, how to move it. I'll maybe do how to do it with a mouse later. So we click on this thing, I mean we hold it by clicking on it, and we drag it down to a new window. Then we go to here, and we go to Logic Editor. This is like a programming window for, oh yeah. Put it on Blender game. I forgot to do that. Yeah. So um, what we want to do first, we want to add four keyboards. One, two, three, four. The um, minimize that for now, and four motions. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. And connect these. Now, when we, I'm gonna make it so um, W makes it, uh, and we go up, S goes down, A goes left, and D goes right. So press this, and you you press a key to um, make that. Uh, just press um, W S A. Now we go to the first keyboard thing, and we want to use only the X and Y axes for this. I don't know uh, all the time what uh, how you how um, the right elevation, so I was toying around with it. It's either negative or positive um, going up or down on the X axis. So let's just put negative zero point zero three. Let's see if that works. You press P on the keyboard when you have your mouse on the uh, like 3D view. You press play, so let's press W. It goes up. There we go. 
So we go to the next, the S, so we put the exact opposite. Oop. Instead of negative, we put zero positive, 0 0.03. So when we press up, we press S, goes down. All right, now for um, left and right, you use the Y axis. So let's try, it's gotta be, the first one's gotta be negative or positive, so I really don't know, because I don't know my geometry that well. Let's try uh, oh, 0 0.0, negative 0 0.03. Left, okay, that's right, yeah. And then the one's gonna be the opposite, which is 0 0.03, positive. So, that should do it. Now, if you wanna make the aimer go faster, all you gotta do is just make the numbers on the axis just bigger. I'm just gonna use this for now. Now, uh, I'm gonna like stylize this uh, aimer so it looks like the one in the ocean hunter, because I felt like it, so suck it. Uh, okay, so we press shift s, cursor is selected, and we add a cone. I'll show you why I'm doing this. Um, scale it down, zoom in, s, z, to scale it like that, just s to scale it down. Let's add a new material, oh, new material. It's going to be red, Re rotate. Put this up here. Let's duplicate the objects. Mm. There we go. Okay. Then duplicate it again. Then duplicate this again. Alright, so we want these little cones to join this. So what we do, we uh, right click on one, then hold shift. The other cones, do not click the torus first, because you want the torus to be able to move these um, with the uh, programmed uh, WSAD things. Then, then click on the ring after that, or torus, whatever. Then hit hold control, and press J to join. Now, if we play it, there we go, it moves with the torus. Now, I bet you're all wondering, what's it gonna shoot? How do we shoot it? How do we shoot something? Well, I'll show you just uh, in a minute. <clears throat> um, on, let me get it back into camera mode. Um, have cursor to selected by pressing shift and S in the uh, middle of the torus we add a sphere this is gonna be like a trigger mesh like uh, if you press a button this mesh will shoot out uh, an object I'll show you how later I'm gonna make this don't make it too small so you can't click on it so I'm just gonna make this a little red and I'm gonna name this trigger and when you have the sphere selected hit 2 to go in the second layer of that then what we're going to do is make a torpedo so we go to add mesh cone we scale it up with SZ scale it up a little bit rotate it R Y the y axis. Then let's color this sucker in. Okay, a new material, yellow, just like the ocean hunter. Then shift S, cursor selected, add another cone. Scale down just a little bit. Make it a little pointier. Now a new material, let's make it red. Alright, what we want to do is duplicate objects, 
rotate to the x-axis duplicate again rotate x-axis duplicate again rotate x-axis Now, let's just make it a little bit cooler. Let's add a torus. If I'm saying it wrong, just correct me. Is it torus or not? So, uh, let's go to the front view. And let's rotate it to the... I think it's... Yeah, it's it. Make it so... Scale it down a little bit, move it down, color it red. Oops. Duplicate, just scale it down. There we go. As I said before, um, you click on one of the torses and hold shift, click on the rings, the, cone, the red cones, but oh, don't want to select the uh, the yellow cone uh, before um, everything else. You want the yellow cone to be selected last. Come on. There we go. Control J. So that should work. Oh, and another thing. Let's go back to layer one. Uh, camera. Oh. You want to make this um, sphere for the z-axis pointing forward. So if you're facing um, this certain direction, you have to uh, figure out uh, the red, green, or uh, blue. I'm facing this direction, um, the camera direction, so I have to um, point the blue or z-axis forward. So uh, go to your rotation, go to local, Click on one of the rings, click back to the arrow, and then you have this menu where you can, uh, hold on, let me, oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, no, that's not it either. Just got full around. Oh, there we go. I'm going to make the blue one pointing forward. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so, we um, go back to layer two with this uh, sphere selected, and we click on. Actually, I'm gonna name this uh, uh, cone. Oops, my typing's failing me today. Yeah, okay. And what we wanna do? Go to Logic up Editor. Go to up. Uh, go to Always. Click on an Actuator, and uh, put Motion. Then have the uh, torpedo selected, go to physics, and put it dynamic. Now link these together. Oh, and uh, I want to make it, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to make a, when the torpedo gets shot, we have, it, sound, it has sound effects. So when we have the torpedo selected, go to add actuator sound. Uh, let me import a uh, sound effect in the, uh, uh, game. I want the Sega 12 shotgun sound effect. Okay, so let me connect these. Play end. Get as high as you can go. So, when... okay. Uh, I gotta uh, set this to go forward. So what we do, we increase this on the x-axis. That's the way I'm pointing right now. And angular like that. Oh, wait, the other direction, negative for the linear velocity. Yeah, let's make this a little faster, I mean stronger. Maybe a little bit stronger. Let's make the spinning just a little bit slower. Perfect! Now let's go back to 
Uh, no, layer one. Yeah. Go back to camera mode so I can see it easier. And go to the sphere. Now we got, or trigger, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's program that. Go to, uh, if you want a mouse to fire or the keyboard, let's make the keyboard fire it. I'm just going to put in a random letter. How about K? Yeah. And let's make an edit object. Add object. Well, let's first connect these and put in torpedo. Then, well, you have the uh, trigger mesh or sphere. Um, hold shift and then click on the aimer. Control P, parent, object. And that should do it. Except, hold on, I gotta do something. Go back to layer two. Let's make the torpedo a little bit smaller. So we scale it down. Now let's go back to layer one. Camera mode. Hit P. Isn't that awesome? I could do that all day. Alright, next tutorial I'm going to show you the level design and how to make a level and how to make a rail shooter. Alright, so that was um, part one, guys. Peace.